I do engineering design challenges in my classroom because they are fun first, and my students really enjoy participating in engineering design challenges. The skill set my students develop from practicing these engineering design challenges are real skills that will take them on whatever path they um, follow in life. When I first started there a couple years ago, a lot of the kids, it was, after school was seen as just another piece of school. But when we started implementing engineer uh, design challenges, it became a lot more, hey, like how can I look at these other aspects of school, whether it's literature, or math, or other sciences, what can I do differently with them? How can I make them fun like engineering is? I think there's a lot my students can take away from it, especially with the engineering mindsets. One of our favorite ones to focus on is perseverance. So we talk about our favorite failures and we have an anchor chart in the room and we get very excited when we fail during our engineering design challenge time. And it's exciting for them to see that they're learning from those failures and that they can build upon those. Our program is a college access program and these are students who um, don't necessarily have someone in their family who led the way to what it looks like to get from where they are in seventh grade to um, becoming a successful college student. All of these skill sets that the students develop in order to carry out a design challenge, solve a problem, work collaboratively, um, communicate their ideas, communicate their solutions, communicate why they're doing what they're doing, um, and communicate what they learned as they went. They developed skills that not only apply in the STEM scenario or in the classroom, but also skills that they can take with them. We don't want to give them a specific problem and say, here, fix this one thing. We want to see that the approach uh, that they use in figuring something out is going to be universal to them in the real world. We want that same process um, in them to grow and to live and be able to then, you know, bring it to the world and say, hey, there's something going on on our coast and we need to fix it. Sometimes I give them an engineering design challenge that may not have the perfect solution. And I let them know up front, this is going to be a challenge. And as soon as you get to that point where you aren't sure if you can do it, your brain is growing and you are persevering. And we talk explicitly in my classroom about getting to that point in our learning and challenging ourselves. The other day, we had finished up an engineering design challenge and one of my students was struggling with math. And their partner looks over and says, don't forget what we learned. You have to keep going. What other ways can you try? You can't stop. We have to keep going. And it was just really cool to hear that as an educator, that your students are learning what you're telling them and that they're applying it to each other. A couple students in particular, when I first started, they were in my class and they were the kind of students that say negative things about themselves, which is definitely how I was growing up. And uh, I never really knew how to change that for them, except for when I started doing design challenges. And using the innovator, innovator mindsets, I was able to foster that curiosity, that perseverance by telling them it's, it's okay to fail, right? Like, look how awesome it is to fail. We had some students who, who started out saying, um, I don't like engineering, what, what's engineering? And then they came out of it saying, wow, engineering's fun, I like creativity, I wanna build. They are now stronger communicators with each other, with their teachers. There's less of a barrier between asking questions. There's more understanding of, of what it means to be a self-advocate. I've been doing this for four years now and um, I knew from the beginning it was the missing piece to what my students needed to make a connection between what I was teaching them with regards to science and how I want it to um, be with them for the rest of their lives. And this design challenge to me was that missing piece that I've been looking for. For more resources and design challenges, visit thetech.org resources.